that and we've won. My word, this is a great event for you, my dear, watching two of your hottest suitors making a last wicked stand together. Bo and Humphrey do absolutely everything together, Papa, as you well know. Sir. Thank you, Simpson. We only had four more runs to get. Well, it's all in the game, Simpson. Hard luck, Humph, old man. Get your hands off me, you cad. Eh? Well, what's up, old man? You know damn well what's up. You deliberately tripped me. Humphrey, what are you saying? You deliberately tripped me. Now, just a minute, gentlemen. This is an extremely grave charge you're making, Captain Bagshaw. Mr. West, is there any truth in it? Well, no, of course not. Humphrey's my friend. Why would I want to go and do a thing like that? Then you're saying that Captain Bagshaw is a liar. Well, no, I don't mean that, but... Well, he must have tripped over, over his bootlace. My bootlace? The lace on me elastic-sided boots. Oh, how could you do such a despicable thing? Mr. West, you are no longer welcome in my house, nor as a member of our cricket team. Come, Jane. I've lost her, Simpson. This letter has just arrived for you, my lady. Thank you, Nice and young. Excuse me. What is it, my beloved? It's Bo. It, it, it's Mr. West. He's... <laughs> my dearest Jane, by the time you receive this letter, I shall have left this country for good. The only hope I have of forgetting the terrible things that have happened is to join the French Foreign Legion. Oh, no. Excuse me. Oh, never mind, my dear. It's the best thing he could do. His life wouldn't have been worth living here. No other cricket club would have accepted him. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, no. Well, cut him down, someone. Cut him down. He's tripping all over my best carpet. Excuse me, my lady. Light. Bo. Bo didn't trip me. I fell on purpose. Bo. Dearest Bo, what have we done to you? Whoa, Cleo. Is this it, Simpson? Yes, sir. City Bell Abbey. Well, get me down, Simpson. Certainly, sir. Hey, you, Arab fellow. Camera, Bobo. That's what me put my foot. Can't let go of the thing. Damn it, I'll never get used to that. I expected the back end to go down first. Oh, oh well, never mind that. Look, try and find out where one joins up around here, will you? Yes, yeah, sir. Let's try that cafe over there. Very well, sir. Anyone home? Good morning, madam. My name is Bertram Oliphant West. Well, I'm sorry, but what can I do about it? My name is Zig Zig, and what can you do about that? No, no, you, you misunderstand me, madam. I merely wish to ask where one goes to join the Foreign Legion. Ah, just one moment. I go ask the sergeant. Sergeant? Sergeant Knocker. He is important man in Legion. He know everything. Is he here? Oh, yes. Often. Perhaps it's the married quarters, Simpson. Mm. 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 Ah. 
Hello, sugar date. <laughs> Not now, baby. I gotta get some sleep. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> what is this strange fascination I have over them? Why can't they let me alone but for a moment? Heart of my heart, I only want to talk. You go right ahead and talk, sugar date. You talk. While I get some sleep. No, 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 don't go to sleep yet. There are two men here who are wanting to join you. Nothing doing. Let them find their own bed. No, no, to join you in the Legion. Simple. Let them report the headquarters. Just the other side of town. Okay. I tell them. And then come back. But you just say you want to sleep. Can I help it if my tongue don't know how my mind works? Legion! Legion! Present! Arms! What is that? Come and I'll peace! We, we! Hello, did anybody call? Oh, come and I'll peace! Come on, I'm burger! Look! Spring flowers. Spring flowers? Early bloomers. This is no joke! Pull those bloomers down! Pull them down! Come on, not so loud. Anyone listening outside the fort will wonder what's going on in the yard. I don't care about those pigs. Pull them down. I want to get to the bottom of this. Capital of peace, the man who is responsible for this will be buried in the sand up to here. Head first, find out who he is. But how? How use your brain, search the lockers. Find out which one wears underwear like this. Oh, Herr Commandant, no legionnaire will wear anything like these. How do you know? We get all sorts in the Legion, and it's our custom not to ask questions. Perhaps it's time we started. Oh, hey, come on, look. There is a message written on the back. Well, it can't be a message from the front. <laughs> what is death to all Legion infidels? Your time is nigh. The flaming sword is spoken. What is that? What flaming sword? Herr Commandant, it is an emblem of the leader of the Riffs, Sheikh Abdul Abulbul. They have got my message. Let us give them a taste of what is soon to come. I intend to get to the bottom. See how the mice run. But the time is not yet. We will go. If any, look what comes. Ah, uh, this appears to be the place, sir. Oh, well, help me down, will you, Simpson? Oh, Camel Bobo. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. It has been truly said, the mind of the white infidel is like the action of the cleanser. Clean round the bend. This way, sir. Ah, oh, well, Simpson, the, the time has come to say goodbye, old friend. No, sir, I can't do it. I can't leave you here like this. I'm going to join the Foreign Legion, too. Oh, Simpson. <laughs> Simmy! <laughs> Not in front of the native, sir. Oh. Sorry, sir. Shall I, uh, shall I knock now? Please do that, Simpson. Excuse me, sir. Oh, come along. I think there is someone knocking at the gate. The nerve of the dogs. Do they expect me to let them in and surrender the depot? Ah! Perhaps that would be the wisest move. Never over your dead body. Ooh. I've got something in store for them they didn't bargain for. Move out the cannon and load with grape. And if you haven't got any grape, load with some other fruit. <laughs> Come on, you man! Move out the cannon, get out your grapes! I hope they don't want our services, sir. Nonsense, they're always looking out for recruits. They'll welcome us with open arms, you'll see. Get out your grapes! Uh, what did I tell you? came to join the Foreign Legion. Yes, we keep telling you that. Are you aware this place has just been under heavy attack? How do I know you're not one of them? 
Oh, no, sir. Spies sent in here to learn our secrets. Spies? How dare you, sir? We are English gentlemen. Don't talk to me about your English gentlemen. I have seen what you scribble on the walls of your English gentlemen. Mr. West has never so much as raised a finger to a wall. He's a man of honor. If he is a man of so much honor, why does he need to join the Foreign Legion? I... I can't tell you that. Ah, so perhaps you lost your honor on the plain fields of Eton. That was not Mr. West's fault. There happened to be a gardener's Simpson. daughter. So, good. You can enlist. But be careful, you will be watched at the first sign of any treachery. The firing squad. The firing squad? Oh, we'll enjoy that, sir. Mr. West is an excellent shot. Lippies, take them away. We come in our burger. We could. Attention. Hold it, turn. Quick, match. Up to you, sir. Oh, no, that's all right. Oh, no, I insist. No, Simpson. I all... Get out! Oh. <clears throat> Lippies, we have come along. Turn him over to the color sergeant. He will make soldiers of him. Oh, uh, didn't you know, sir? Sergeant Knocker hasn't returned from patrol yet. Not back yet? But it's been six days. Was he by himself again? All right, sugar date. Hold it right here, sugar. Sergeant, do you have to go back now? Oh, come on, sugar date. I explained to you, we had six wonderful days together. Heaven, it was great. It really was swinging. But, baby, I belong here. I got my work to do. Come back now. Honey, can I explain to you? I'm a sergeant. I'm an important man. How do you think I got these? How did you get them? Uh, if I was to tell you, you'd be even more crazy about me than you are now. You're a good girl. Thanks a lot, honey. Thanks for the lift. I have a good ass, no? Give me a break, will you? It's a vast country. I can't take care of all of them. Oh, well. Back to the humdrum life. Sergeant Knocker reporting, sir. Back from patrol. I, uh, 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 <laughs> no, no, sir, thank you, sir. I'll be all right after all. I've just been five days without food or water. That's all. Bring water quickly. Water. No, thank you, sir. I'll be all right. I must file my report. Drink, it's Sergeant. A, no, thank you. Oh, you can't drink. Thank you, sir. Delicious, sir. Hey, now, Sergeant, if you feel strong enough, your report. Yes, sir. Well, you see, last Saturday, I got this tip off there was going to be an attack on Fort Soissonet. Well, it cost me 20 francs, but I don't mind if I don't get it back. It was worth it, sir. Sergeant, you will get it back. Oh, thank you, sir. You're a brick. Well, I thought I'd better get to the garrison and warn them immediately, sir. It's was on Nerf, but that's over 200 kilometers away. But what does that matter, sir, with the lives of fellow legionnaires at stake, sir? You went alone? Yes. What happened? I was attacked by this murderous group of riffs. Ah, so you were surprised. I mean, what chance did I have? One legionnaire against a hundred riffs. A hundred? But you don't have to worry about them, sir. Not with half their number dead. I can hardly believe it. I can hardly believe it myself. I'll count them twice, sir. Capital Peace, this gallantry merits immediate recognition. I will get the box here, Commandant. Sergeant Knock, I salute your bravery. You have conducted yourself in the highest traditions of the Legion. Oh, please, sir. You're embarrassing me in front of the men. Oh, sir, this isn't necessary. I have enough medals. It is a proud moment just to serve for you, sir. I, I don't... Oh, there's a goodie. Yes, this one here. Mmm, solid silver. Splendid. Thank you, sir.
But, Jane, my dear, I still think you're wrong to go. Oh, Papa, I must, don't you see? It was mainly because of me that Beau left. And it's my duty to find him and tell him that his name has now been cleared. Oh, very well, but please be careful, my dear. You've led far too sheltered a life to know what can possibly happen to a young woman travelling alone. Oh, I, I have a first-class seat reserved on the train. Oh, I'm not bothered about your seat. There'll be men. What can men do to me? Oh, far too sheltered a life. <laughs> Oh, morning, miss. I uh, just wanted to punch your ticket. Punch my ticket? That's right. Are you, uh, are you travelling alone, miss? Well, yes. Why? Oh. Well, there's uh, nothing to it, really. <laughs> Funny way to punch my ticket. Simpson. It appears it's time to rise, sir. Oh, thank you very much. Where's the tea? Doesn't seem to be any served yet, sir. Oh. Well, in that case, run my bath, would you? I regret to inform you, sir, that I've been unable to find a bath. Well, no baths? No, sir. I'm given to understand that... Oh, dare I say, sir. Please, dare. That one uses a horse trough outside, sir. Oh, well, in that case, run my trough. Thank you, Kratzky. Oh. Ah. Nice to be back. Simple comforts. That was a rough patrol you had, Sergeant. It won't come any rougher, Kratzky. Six days, six nights on a job. Takes a lot out of a man. You bet, you bet. You know, Sergeant, it's incredible. You do all that walking and not a grain of sand in your boots. Yeah. When I do what I do, I do it with my boots off. Where's it on the ground? Ah, it's good to be back. Look out on the old parade grounds and see. What the hell is that? You must be seeing things. Uh, there are the two new ones, Sergeant, coming yesterday. Well, they think this is a hell spa. What are they? Newlyweds or something? They're English, Sergeant. You know the English? They're half nuts. By the time I'm finished with them, they'll be whole nuts. Boy, I'm looking forward to training those two. I haven't had anything as good to work on since that other limey was here. What was his name again? Uh, Bow legs or something. Ah, that's the one. Okay, get him on parade ground, Corporal. What do you got in mind, Sergeant? Get him on parade ground! All present, Corporal? Except for the two new ones. Leave them to me, Sergeant. All it. I'll handle this one myself. Maybe I'll get a chance to bathe the baby. Turn off! Turn off every one of you! Now then, properly at ease, you lousy pigs! Let's fly! Move, you dog! Come on! Hey! All right, what's going on here? Any old enough to dress himself? A gentleman never dresses himself. Oh, I... Terribly sorry. You see, I'm so terribly ignorant of these facts. That's perfectly all right, old chap. You'll learn. So, something we can do for you? Yes. Uh, I wonder if you'd care to join us for a teensy wincy parade. You see, the Commandant will be there. Oh, it'll be such fun. Well, that's very decent of you, Sergeant. Thank you very much indeed. We'd both be delighted. Oh, bully, bully, bully. Uh, just as soon as we've breakfasted. Oh, by the way, where is the restaurant? Oh, uh, I'm terribly sorry. I'm afraid there is no restaurant. But I'll tell you what there is. Oh, what? We have a pit where we bury you up to your neck in sand for days and days. Oh? What for? For talking back to your sergeant! For not being ready for parade! And for acting like a couple of motherless, fatherless jerks! Now you get with it! Get dressed and be out there in five seconds! Go on, parade, go! No. No, no, no. Come. 
Ready for inspection, sir. Thank you, Sergeant. In future, I want the garrison kept on standby. All leave is cancelled and double the guards. You got it! Double the guards? What for, sir? I'm expecting trouble. Have you seen these? Uh, oh, would you like to have them filled, sir? Uh, Sergeant! Uh, I, I mean, any woman wearing these can cause plenty of trouble around the fort. Don't you worry, sir. I'll track her down. She won't lay a glove on you. I did not get them from a woman, Sergeant. Then from who, sir? I'm... Hello. Hello. They were raised on the flagpole yesterday morning. There's a message on them. Yes. Look. A message? That is... It? Oh, Abdullah Bulbul. <laughs> I wouldn't worry about him, sir. Don't give it a second thought. After all, he has 12 wives. What time has he got left for fighting? There is an old Arab saying, Sergeant. The more a camel has to drink, the more he will want to make stops. <laughs> That's a goodie. Did you hear the one about the butler in the upstairs next? Sergeant! I want you to bear that in mind. I am now ready to inspect your men. Sir! Joke? Oh, I forgot I had it on the head, sir. Deal with this man, Sergeant. Yes, sir, it'll be a pleasure. Oh, it's the hat. Oh, don't blame him, sir. He was so busy helping me that he was... Silence! Ah! 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 Oh! Oh! Ah! Oh! Andre? Bonjour, Mantel. Welcome aboard. Oh, merci, I'm sure. It is possible, Mantel, that it will be rough in the channel. I must check your porthole. By all means. Mademoiselle is traveling alone? Yes, why? Uh-huh. Oh! <laughs> what an odd way to check my porthole. These damn flies. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. It's all my fault. Ah, oh, well, Simpson, only another five more days to go. Yes, sir. Sir? Yes, Simpson, what is it? Do you think they have worms in the Sahara, sir? I don't know. Why? <laughs> There's something crawling up my comb, sir. <laughs> now, steady on, Simpson. Oh, I can't stand much more of this, sir. Oh, forgive me, sir. But with your permission, I think I'll go mad. Oh, now I've got the worms! The worms! Steady on! The worms. Steady on. Oh. Now there's going to be plenty more of this. That sergeant's got it in for us. Oh, oh I know, sir. And just think, sir, he was the one that told us where to come and enlist. Oh. What do you mean? Well, that's Sergeant Knocker, sir. The one the woman in the cafe went to ask. He was in the back room. Oh. And then a little while later, he came in looking a wreck and staggering about all over the place. So would I if I'd spent some time with that woman, sir. But he told the Commandant he'd just come back from patrol. And he got decorated for bravery. <laughs> Enjoying yourself, gentlemen? We're just beginning to, Sergeant. Well, I'm glad to hear that. Because when I get you out of here, I'm going to make your life so miserable, you're going to be glad to get back in. Oh, I don't think so, Sergeant. Not a brave man like you, who can go out on patrol and kill 50 rifts single-handed. 53. Oh, I beg your pardon. You see what I mean, Simpson? It couldn't have been Sergeant Knocker who was in the cafe with that woman. But it was, sir. I saw him through the curtain. Nonsense. You must be imagining things. I tell you what, when we get out of here, we'll go and ask the Commandant. He should know. Hey, wait a minute. Were you the two guys that were in the cafe yesterday morning? So it was you in there then, Sergeant. Trotsky! Sergeant! Corporal Trotsky, what are these two fine men doing down there? But, Sergeant, you told me to put them in the hot box. I told you? I would waste the talent of these two intelligent, hard-working, conscientious soldiers in this manner? You must be out of your mind. But, Sergeant, you... Don't no, but me! But, Sergeant! Hey, I'm gonna squat and dig these fine gentlemen out here out of double look like I got. Hey, Sergeant! Don't you worry, fellas. It's all been a big mistake. Here, have a cigar. 
I have a feeling we're going to be real buddies. How you doing, fellas? Everything all right? On guard! Chop! I'm so sorry, Sergeant. That's all right. Anybody can make a little mistake. Buddy. Wakey-wakey, Simmy. Tease up. No. Thank you very much indeed, Sergeant. Oh, no bother. I wonder if you would make parade this morning. It's Commandant's inspection. It shouldn't take long, you know. Yes, I... I think we could make it, yes. Oh, that's what I admire. Keenness. However, no hurry. Whenever you're ready. Buddy. All right, come along, you guys. Hold it. Right there. Right there. Now shut your eyes. Come on, shut your eyes. This is going to be a surprise. You're not shutting your eyes. OK, open them. Surprise. Oh, Sergeant, we... We don't know what to say. Ah, just a small token of my esteem, buddies. Yeah, but, but where did you get it from? Oh, uh, never mind. Just don't tell anybody. Le peace! Le peace! We have come enough. Where's my bathtub gone? Look your bathtub. Entree? Uh, welcome to the Kaifa Hotel, Algeria, mademoiselle. I am the manager. How nice. I just wanted to see whether your accommodation is uh, satisfactory. Well, yes. Yes, I'm sure. Mademoiselle travels alone. Yes. Oh! What an extraordinary way to see if my accommodation is satisfactory. Nothing like an old-fashioned waltz. You'll not say hello to me tonight, my sergeant. Hello. You mind, honey, I can't see where you get out of the way. Are you? Yeah! <laughs> Hold it, baby. How about giving us the dance of the two veils? You mean seven veils? Why bother with the preliminaries, eh? <laughs> hey, did you see that? She's crazy about me. She's very beautiful, but, but why was she wearing that ruby in her... Well, in here. That's to keep the draft out. I don't know if you happen to notice, sir, but uh, these things... Uh, uh, yes, Simpson, I, I did happen to notice. Well, we have some casserole dishes just like that at home, sir. Oh, yes, that's <laughs> right. We used to put our dumplings in them. They use them for the same reason here. I'd like to meet her. What, that dancer, sir? Mm. Oh, I, I don't think that would be advisable at all, sir. But why ever not? Simmy's right. You never catch me getting mixed up with a woman of that sort. Hello there. Well, why don't you take off your clothes and pull up a chair? <laughs> thank you. No, no, thank you. Now, who told you I was the only one around here worth bothering with? 
Oh, nobody. Oh, just psychic, eh? May I say how very much I enjoyed your dancing? Thank you. You are most kind. We, we haven't seen you here before. No, I have just come from Egypt. Ah, Egypt, land of mystery, home of the mighty fairies. You mean pharaohs? I know what I mean. You are so very pretty. Oh, please. Oh, no, no, it is true. What is your name? West. West. Bertram Oliphant West. <laughs> Ludicrous, ain't it? My name is... Uh... Bertram Oliphant. <laughs> it's a riot, isn't it? You see, my name is... But most of my best friends call me Bo. Bo? Yes. B-O. You've got some nice friends. And what's your name? They call me Cork Tip. Now, I bet you can't guess my name. Oh, yes, I know your name. Honey, I like that. It's even spread to Egypt. It had to happen. They call you the big stinker. <laughs> That's what they call me. Everybody know. What? I hear Zingzi call you that just now. How do you like that thing? Well, she'll get no more favors out of me. May I offer you some refreshment, Miss Cork? Oh, no, thank you. I, I must go work now. Oh, d dancing again? No, I also tell fortune. Really? How? Oh, with the ball, or by the hand, or I feel your bumps. <laughs> Who did that? It was I. Yes. Uh, very well done, I must admit. Oh, woman. Now, just a moment. You will be the first to die. Enough! Go! Go, you dogs! A thousand apologies, gentlemen. They're just ignorant fools. Yeah, it's a good thing you showed up. Just about to lose my temper. It will not happen again. Peace be on you. And peace on you, too. Fools! You would kill legionnaires here, in front of everyone? I have other plans for them. Come. Excuse me, Herr Commandant. There is a woman here for you. A woman? But it's not Saturday, is it? No, no, not that one, Herr Commandant. A white woman. She asked to see the officer in charge. A white woman out here? And out there. Well, bring her in. Bring her in immediately. Oui, oui. Lady Jane Ponsonby, Commandant Berger. Jane! Maximilian! Oh, uh, pardon. Oh, can it really be you? It's been such a long time. Oh, years ago. Vienna, when I was in finishing school. And I was your fencing master and finished you off. I was only 17. I hardly knew what it was all about. Fencing, I mean. Oh, and such a beautiful child you were, with the pigtails and the braces on your teeth. And you had braces, too, on your leather shorts, remember? Oh, my liebchen. Maximilian. Oh, forgive me, my dear, but it's been so many years since I've even seen a white woman. Oh, come now. There can't be that much difference, apart from the color. That's very true. In fact, there's an old Arab saying, the whiteness of the snow is as the blackness of the coal hole when there's no light. <laughs> what a lovely saying. But not you. You could never be the same. It was because of you that I joined the Legion. Because of me? Yes. That day you are coming to me for the private lesson. And I did what I did to you. Oh, I was so ashamed. Oh, look, it was nothing. Oh, only a little scratch. But I have never touched a sword since. Oh, poor Maximilian. No matter. You have forgiven me and found me again. Oh. Maximilian, I didn't come here looking for you. Not for me. No, I really came to find a very dear friend of mine, uh, Mr. West, Bo West. And this man, he is important to you? Yes, I, I do actively anything to find him. Anything? Yes. Tell me, are you traveling alone? Yes. Very well, in that case... Oh, never mind, I'll do it. <sighs> oh! I wish you to get them to come to your house. My men will take care of them then. 
I understand. All three of them? No. Just two of them. He with the head like the dome of the Mosque of Omar. And he with eyes like well holes in the sand. It shall be done, O oh powerful one. Hey. Cock tip, she wanna see you in the back room. Me? Yes, you. Don't ask me why. <laughs> I don't have to ask, I know. <laughs> Ow. They can only fight against it for just so long, and then it's va 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 boom. Well, Chavis, don't wait up for me, what? You can stop looking for it in there. It's right here. Sit down. I would like to see what's in store for you. Hey, I'd like to see what's in store for me myself. No, no, you must not. Not here. I tell your fortune, sit. Fine. But, uh, never mind that. Let's get to the bumps, huh? You interest me strangely. I feel an affinity between us, a destiny that guides our ends. Fine. You take care of your end, I'll take care of mine. Ah, it is clearing now. I see you meeting a dark woman somewhere else. Oh, uh... It wouldn't be you, would it? It might be. Yes, it is me. Fine. When? I see a clock. It says midnight. Midnight it is. Where? I see a house. It is the tenth house in the street of many fools. Oh, 10 Downing Street. I'll be there. Well, what happened? Where? What do you mean, happened? Oh, oh, nothing at all. She just stole my fortune, nothing to it. Oh, well, we'll soon see about that. Sit down. Where do you think you're going? The sergeant's right, sir. Well, I like that. Didn't you just tell me to go and find another woman? Yes, I mean a lady of breeding, sir. A woman of that type's only looking for one thing. Good, I'll go and help her find it. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Sergeant, do you think he's going to be all right? Good, you have come. I was just going to send for you. You were? Really? Yes. You fascinate me strangely. Please, sit down. Oh, you have a very interesting head. Well, what does it tell you? Well, this one here, this big bomb, this indicates that you are very romantic and passionate. That's very funny. That's where I was hit by a cricket ball. But you are passionate. I feel it here. <laughs> Is it not true? Well, I, I did once breathe rather heavily down my music teacher's neck. She was showing me some five-finger exercises and I lost my senses. <laughs> Is that all? You mean you have never kissed a woman? Oh, oh, yes. But never one wearing a veil. What difference does my veil make? Well, it would be like sucking a toffee with the paper on. And if I were to take it off? Oh, oh yes. It is well. But it is forbidden for me to remove it in public. Of course. If you were to come to my house later. Yes. About ten minutes after midnight. Yes, yes. There will be a whole toffee assortment with no papers on. <laughs> Must you go? This last hour has been an experience I cannot forget. Oh, yes, it's been fun, but I'm now a really mussy bow now. Very well. He will be at the Café Ziga Zig. I will take you there. Oh, no, I must see him alone. Surely you understand that. Very well, my Liebchen, but be careful. It is not safe for a young woman to go about alone. Oh, Papa told me that before I left, but, I mean, nothing's happened to me yet. Nothing unpleasant, that is. But out here it's different. These hot-blooded Arabs, once they get you amongst the sand dunes... Oh, <gasps> do tell me. What do they do? Oh, I cannot tell you. But there's an old Arab saying, there's many a good fiddle played on an old dune. That's <laughs> 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 an old dune. So be careful, my Liebchen. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, fellas, let's take the shortcut. skin the color of camel tribes. I do not know why. I desire her. Bring her to me. He doesn't seem to be here at the moment. I'm sure you will find the one you are seeking. In the meantime, Perhaps you would care to accept the hospitality of my humble dwelling. Oh, how kind. Do you live near here? My encampment is at the oasis El Nuki, in the desert. Amongst the sand dunes? Oh, naturally. <laughs> I thought as much. Thank you very much, but I feel I ought to stay somewhere in town. As you wish. Perhaps you will change your mind. You will have a drink? Thank you. What is it? We call it... Sherbet. Sherbet? <laughs> I haven't had any sherbet since I was a little girl. It's harmless, isn't it? Of course. If drunk, quickly. <laughs> it doesn't taste quite the same as I remember. <laughs> Delicious, that rat. your offer of kind hospitality. I am honored. We will leave immediately. Oh. 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 <laughs> I'm traveling alone, you know. Desirable one. Hello. I am here in the bedroom. Oh, I, I, I do beg your pardon. I, I, I'll, I'll wait here. No, no, you, you must come in here. I am in bed. Oh, aren't you feeling well? No, no, I am just cold. I need to be warmed. <laughs> well, would you like me to get you a hot water bottle? No. Do you not understand? I just want 
You. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, if you, if, if you don't mind me seeing you in bed. <laughs> I say, it's, it's rather dark in here. I... Oh. <laughs> It's all right, Miss Corktip. You can come out now. Yeah, oh, no, you, you won't need that. There's no more of them. It's those two chaps who were bothering you in, in the cafe, you know, earlier on the set. <laughs> Luckily, I, I learned a bit of the old jujitsu. Uh, oh, I, I say, I do beg your pardon. You, you haven't got your top coat on. There, I'll, I'll, ju I'll just turn my back. Jezebel! I'll never trust another woman as long as I live. <laughs> Disgusting. If you did that in England, you'd get fined five pounds. Where are we, Sergeant? Do you know? Yes, it's the Oasis El Nuki. It's the only waterhole within 200 miles. You have done well. You will be rewarded. I want no other reward than to be favored with the loving attentions of my lord. It shall be done. Wait in my tent. I hope you had a pleasant journey, gentlemen. No. We have been treated outrageously, and I demand to see the British consul. <laughs> What's the matter? Did I say something funny? I don't know, but keep going. He might rupture something. Quiet! You miserable camel droppings! I beg your pardon! You can't talk to a British subject like that! Hey, take it easy, Bo. Take it easy! No, I won't! I will not be humiliated in this manner! If you're going to kill us, why don't you shoot us now and get it over with? That is an excellent idea. You and your big mouth. But first... I require some information. Of course, anything you want to know, just far away. How many accursed legionnaires are there at the outpost in Fort Swazanuf? Let me see. How many legionnaires at Fort Swazanuf? Ah. You're not going to tell him, are you? Well, no, that's a perfectly harmless question. Well, of course it isn't. He obviously wants to find out so that he can attack it. Oh, come off it, Bo. Not him, not this kindly old gentleman. It is true. The infidels will all perish when the second crescent of the moon enters the third phase of Orion. When is that? Tuesday. First the accursed legionnaires at Fort Zwazanuf, and then the infidels at Sidi Belebis. It has been ordained by the prophet Mustafa Ali. Mustafa Ali! Mustafa Ali! Now, you will tell me how many men you know, for the moment, it seems to have slipped my mind. If I could just pop back to the barracks for a moment and have a word with our commandant. Don't trifle with me, accursed one! Perhaps a little torture will help you to remember. You have until nightfall to come to your senses. If not, they will come off one by one. One by one? I suppose he means our ears. That's my boy. Always thinking of the higher things. Look, Chiefy, if he could just have a word and talk this over sensibly with this, uh, Master Falik. Master Falik! I don't know. Must be number one on the hit parade. Away with them! <laughs>
to those horses, Sergeant. How are you? I lost the cufflink. It must be around here someplace. I'm sure I could find it if I look. Stop! I think they've spotted us. You must be kidding. Kill them! Wait! <laughs> Master Felix! to these Arabs. They got the craziest camping equipment. Allah is smiling down on me. I think we ought to leave. Why? Well, they've hardly any clothes on. That's a reason? Well, I'm going. I'd rather die out there than in here with this lot. What are you, some kind of a nut? I have to remember the family name. West. Thank you, Simpson. They're just waiting out there. Yeah. Let me see. Why don't they come in and get us? Wait a minute. This is the harem tent. By their laws, no man may enter here. Only the eunuchs. What are they? You'll never know how close you came to finding out. Sergeant, you mean that all, all these ladies are the sheik's wives? Yes. What's so terrible about that? Think, all those mothers-in-law. But, but, but surely the sheik himself is allowed to come in. No. Then what's the good in having them all? I mean, it's like playing cricket with no bales. There's nothing to knock off. You don't understand. Whenever he feels like a game, he sends for one. He don't travel. He just plays on his own ground. You, you mean that all the while we're in here, then, we're, we're safe? That's right. I'm afraid we're stuck in here. What a pity. Well, and now, girls, how about some of that Turkish delight? <laughs> now, don't, don't frighten them like that, Sergeant. Uh, I do apologize for the intrusion, ladies, but I can assure you that we will do you no harm. Here, stop making promises I can't keep. What's all that noise? I'm trying to sleep. I was having such a love treat. For a fabulous man, all traveling alone. <laughs> Jane. Is that you, Abdul? <laughs> no, it's me, Bo. Bo to you, too. Jane, what's the matter with you? No, it, it's me, Bo West. That Bo? It's... Oh, fancy seeing you here. Oh, oh, kiss me, Bo. <laughs> Jane, please. Oh. You men in there, hearken to me. Quiet. Let's hearken. Come out of there, and I give you my word, I will spare your lives. If not, eventually you will all die horribly. It's Abdul. He's a frightful dear. Wants me to be his number 13. Number 13? Wife, you know. We might as well surrender. Certainly not. I'm not leaving Jane here to become part of a baker's dozen. Well, it's better than being dead, hasn't it? Besides, 13 ain't too bad. She'll have 12 days off. No. Now, we've got to get help. One of you will have to get away. Not me, sir. My place is by your side. Thank you, Simpson. It's up to you, then, Sergeant. Well, thanks a lot. What do I do? Well, I've been thinking. Look, we'll go out and you creep under the flap and make a run for it. Yeah. Well, how do I do that? Well, grab a horse and stampede the rest. Sire! I... What am I saluting you for? All this grass. No time left to graze. Come out of the tent! It's all right. We're coming out. Seize them! There are only two. Where 
as the other infidel. Look offended. Stop! Let him go. It what? Mackerel boy, I think you've pulled it off. You'll be a real hero now. That's it. Real. Hold there. Hold! Good boy, Naka. You've done it. They'll write books about you. Naka. Naka of the Foreign Legion. That's what they'll call you. Na I like that sound. Naka of the Foreign Legion. Jolly good. Ah-ha! Ah-ha! have one of those days when nothing seemed to go right. what you have told us, madame. You say that four nights ago, Sergeant Knocker was in your cafe with his other two legionnaires, correct? That is right. Then he go off with this woman, cock tip. <coughs> yeah, yes, uh, and you further say that he is still with this woman, correct? Of course. Where else, the dirty pig? So all the time he was supposedly out on patrol alone, he was in reality staying with you, correct? That is right. I tell you, for years she has been with me, and then this woman come along and... Now then, perhaps you would like to use this. No, thanks. I went before I came. Uh, yes, very well. Uh, thank you for coming forward with this information. You may go now. Okay. Mm. I like you. Why don't you come and see Zig Zig sometime, eh? I think I've got all I want from you, madam. Thank you. You think so? Well, perhaps there are a couple of points I'd like to go over with you later. <laughs> Good. Soon, eh? Interesting, Lipis. Very interesting. What is her name? Mon Commandant, her name is Zig Zig. Zig Zig. Oh, it's a strange name. It is an old Arabic word for serving woman, meaning she who handed it out on a platter. Yes, and all the time she's been handing it out on the platter to Sergeant Knocker. Oh, my God, what fools he has been making of us. I know. All these toys about lone patrol and killing hundreds of riffs. And all the time he and she were. Yes, and I've been giving him medals for it. Open up. It's me, Sergeant Knocker. Open up. Sergeant Knocker's back! Quickly, peace! Sergeant Knocker reporting back from patrol, sir. And what, I wonder, have you got to report this time, Sergeant? Bad news, sir. Fort Swatsonef, it's going to be attacked. And how, may I ask, did you acquire that information? Yes, sir. Legionnaires Wes Simpson and me were taken prisoners by them. After a stiff fight, of course. Oh, oh. Yes, we were taken to the Oasis cell Nookie, but I managed by sheer audacity, to escape and come back to warn you, sir, four days on foot across the burning hot sands. Enough! This is unbelievable! Yes, it was quite a feat, sir. Well, don't just stand there. You heard the commandant. Go get the tray, get the medals. Nine, nine, nine! One medal will be enough, sir. You will have no more medals from me, Schweinhund. Schweinhund? You have made a fool of me for the last time, killing 53 tribesmen single-handed, eh? Rescuing a company of legionnaires from certain deaths, eh? Lies, lies, lies! Sir, what are you doing? I got those medals for bravery! No, not for bravery, but for jiggery pokery! Take him away! What happened? What did I say? Herr Commandant? About Sergeant Locker, sir. He's been there for three days now. He has decided to tell the truth? I'm afraid not, sir. He still keeps insisting on some ridiculous story about Weston Simpson and an Englishwoman being held prisoner. You did not tell me this before. An Englishwoman, you say? Not, not Lady Jane? I believe that was her name, sir. Have it down the piece. Turn out the entire company. Oui, oui, mon commandant. Full packs, arms and ammunition. Oui, oui. And release Sergeant Knocker. Oui, oui. Well, stop wee oui, oui and get on with it. Legion, left hand! Legion, forward! Oh! 
What's happened? Where's everyone gone? Where's Lady Jane? Where is she? I warn you, if you have brought us out here in a wild goose's chase... Sir, I give you my word, they were here. Commandant. What? Look. Vultures. Vultures, you don't think. Oh, I don't like this. Looks like they got a bone to pick with someone. My mine, not my Liebchen Jane. <laughs> Look, sir! It's all right, sir. He's alive. He's still breathing. I don't care about them. Where's mein Liebchen? Oh, alas, poor Jane. I knew her well. Oh, come on, sir. That's a skull of a man. How can you tell? By the jawbone. A woman's gets more worn down, you know, for the constant yatta the yatta the yatta Then where is she? What's happened to her? Mother! Mud? Mud? <laughs> It's me, Bo! Knock her! Poor devil, he's half out of his mind. Been under this blazing sun for a week. Yes, but I think he's trying to tell us something. Yes, West, what is it? Turn me over. I want to do my back. Ah, she must be being murdered, and all you can think of is getting an even tan. Oh, don't pay any attention to him, sir. He's delirious. He's half out of his mind. Boy, where is she? Where's Lady Jane? Took her. Took her with them to raid Fort Swazon. Ah, then we are not yet too late. Look after him, Sergeant. OK, sir. All right, I'll take it easy, boy. You're going to be all right. We leave at once for Fort Swazon. Fall in. Oh, uh, come on, John. It is many miles away. There is no water left. Fool, we can fill our water bottles at the oasis. Come uh, on, jump to it. <laughs> Now you see why I let the sergeant go. He will lead them straight into my trap. <laughs> Do we attack them now, Effendi? No, no. We wait two or three days. Without water, they will be weaker then. <laughs> Swine's march! Sir, the men have been marching for two days without a rest. They must have a break, sir. Very well, one hour. That's all. Thank you, sir. You, you're all hot. All right. Good news, you monkeys. Fall out for one hour. One hour. One hour's rest, sir. Sir, I'm rather worried about morale. If we don't get water soon, you'll have trouble from the men. You are the adjutant, Capitan Lepice. It is your job to keep their minds occupied so they forget about their thirst. As a matter of fact, I did have rather a good idea. Then act on it, Lepice. Act on it. Oh, I'd love to. God in himmel, Dummkopf. <laughs> They have stopped Fendi. But what is it they are doing? Come on, Dornberger. We're all ready for you, and you'll be amazed. Good. Strange. I think the time has come to attack. Tell my warriors to make ready. Fine, man, it's a <laughs> lovely weather, huh? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes, it's very difficult. They are also very good, I think. Yes, this one too. But I think this one. This one is the best. First prize, Klotzky. What? Mine's better than his. Oh, you think so, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Why? I think the job is being done for us. We do not need to attack these fools. Pass the word. We march on Fort Swazanov immediately. The prophet has truly said, the behavior of the white infidels is like blood coming from a stone. 
Bleeding mystery. <laughs> you beaver. Sorry, sorry. All right. Take it easy. Just relax. All right. Okay. All right, all right, all right. That's it, sir. How many casualties, Sergeant? Sixteen, sir. Sixteen? It's disgraceful, absolutely disgusting. Oh, come on, sir. They're a good bunch of boys just letting off a bit of steam. But sixteen casualties? You'll peace with your bright ideas. Well, you don't have to blame me. Oh, really can be a rotten burger. Sergeant! Sir! Sort out all the men fit enough to march on Fort Swazon Nerf. Sir, all that way without water? We must go on, not only to save Lady Jane, but to relieve the garrison. But uh, what about the captain, sir? You won't be taking Le Peace. I'm asking him a serious question, sir. What about the captain? You fool! I mean Le Peace will not be coming with us. I am sending him back to City Bell Abbey's with the wounded. He will fetch reinforcements. Le Peace! Yes, Herr Colonel! I wish to see the mayor. Yes, Herr Colonel! Ah! Here is our objective. Fort Swazon Nerf. And here is our present position. Leave! Chow! Forward! Leave right! 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 Sergeant, there was a well. Of course, there was a well, and your Jack and your Jill. Well, where, where, where is it? Where did it go to? Then? Look, kid, it was never there. It's a mirage. A mirage? I don't believe it. You don't believe it? Well, I'll prove it to you. Ah, now, you see this coin? Coin, right? Coin. I will now throw it down the well. Here, see? Sergeant. Yeah. You should have made a wish. I wish you'd shut up. Full that time. <laughs> Look at that! <laughs> Restaurant, bar, dancing. Now that's what I call a mirage. It has been seen many times before. Come, we must go on. I told you it was a mistake building right out here. Nobody ever stops. I cannot stand it no more. I had enough. 
I cannot stand it, I tell you, I cannot stand it! What's the matter, Klotsky? I'm thirsty. I think he wants some water. Well, don't look at me. What can I do about it? I cannot make water. We're done for! Don't, uh, we'll never get out of here alive! Look at the vultures! To hell with you! To hell with all of you! Go on! Do your worst! Oh! Probably one did. Men! You must pull yourselves together! There's plenty of water at the fort! On, on! We must go on! Oh, sir, it does go on. I say, sir, are we too late? I've heard this sort of music before. It's for a wedding celebration. Oh, no, is that all? Yeah. It's when the chief is taking another wife. Good luck to him. He's got 12 already. And another wife. Number 13. Lady Jane. Oh, no. No, don't panic, sir. It may not be too late. Uh, Commandant, sir, is it a before or an after celebration? Before. It is to wish the chief an abundant harvest. It's called the Song of the Oats. Oh, no. Let's hurry before it's too late. There she is! There is still time. This music is to wish the chief great virility and endurance. The day of the morrow will march on Shirdi Belabish. But the night of tonight to mark your gallant victory I, your chief, will take another wife to bosom. Go to my tent. The hour of your fulfillment approaches. Oh, look here. Do I have to be fulfilled? Take her! <laughs> my people, the time is nigh. I wish mine was. I could use an eye all time right now. Come, we will try and work our way round and up under the back of her tent. But she isn't wearing one. Are all with us. <laughs> but first, in accordance with the custom of our tribe, you will all give your gifts to the glory of Abdul! <laughs> The glory of Abdul. To the glory of Abdul. Oh, thank you. Jane. Shh, don't make a sound. All right, come on. Oh. Oh, dear, dear Jane. Are we are we in time? For what? Well, you know, has he? Have you? Oh, no, he hasn't, but then neither have I. Mein Liebchen! Maximilian! Oh, 
Ein Million. Mein Liebchen. Oh. Do not worry. Max is here. Mm. I will take you to the fort. You will be safe there. Wouldn't like to bet on that. If you'll pardon me, sir, I think it's time I got Lady Jane out of here. He's right. Go ahead. I'll keep watch. Look out! Somebody's coming! To the glory of Abdul. Thank you very much, I'm sure. All right. What was that all about? They keep bringing money for him. For him? You mean he gets paid for it? Boy, I'm in the wrong racket. But this is not good. If they keep coming in and out, one of them will see Lady Jane is missing and raise the alarm. That's right. We need a good clear ten minutes to get her safely back to the fort. Hey, maybe one of us could take her place. That's a good idea, Sergeant. Somebody small. Exactly, Sergeant. Like you. No, maybe it's not such a good idea after all. But it is, Simpson. It's an absolutely splendid one. Quickly, my Liebchen, you must go behind the screen and change the clothes. That shouldn't take long. Well, get them move on, Simpson. Take them off. Oh, very well, sir. Do mind, sir. Thank you. Well? Do I have to, sir? If you don't mind, Simpson. Very well, sir. Hurry it up, will you, you guys? We're ready. He will do. Quickly, my leaps. Thanks, Simmy. Sir, what am I going to do, sir, when the chief comes? Oh, that's a good question, Simpson, and uh, I wish I knew a good answer. Thank you, sir. Oh, don't forget, we need a good, clear ten minutes. Now, you mustn't let him find out till then. Sir! Sir, Mr. Bosa, he's bound to find out when my time is nigh. Sir. But, Sergeant... You're not going to leave me alone with this man, are you? Oh, Sammy, relax. All brides are nervous on their wedding night. But I don't know what to do. Just keep calm and keep your fingers crossed, too. <laughs> well, remember, things go wrong, you can always escape through the trapdoor at the back. Well, have fun. But, Sergeant... <laughs> uh. My people, you have given enough. I can wait no longer. I'm really engaged to a very well-known butcher in Wolverhampton. Calm. Oh, no, not this week. Lady <laughs> of the night. Calm. No, no. Oh, no, no. Calm. You see, I'm only here for two weeks. Yes. My shame. Aye, aye. But, ah, come put that away. Come on. Have you come No, no. No, no. Open the gate, Trotsky! It's out! You come in! What about Simpson? Has the chief found out yet? I don't think so. Oh, help! Oh, he has now. Oh, hello! Oh, hello, boys. Stop him! Stop him! Oh, I can be tricked! Bring me this man! I will have his kidneys grilled for breakfast! I swear it by the prophet must have a leak! Never mind on a trap trap, you fools after him! After him! Here he comes! Give him covering fire! Cursed ones! You will all die for this! I, Abdullah Bulbul, swear it! You will all die at dawn! Well, that makes sense. That mob against the six of us. All is not lost yet, Sergeant. There are still two hours before dawn. Come, let us see what's in the storeroom. Not much ammunition, Sergeant. No, ah, it's gunpowder. Gramophone. Gramophone. That's just what we needed. I suppose we could give them the needle. What? <laughs> Sergeant! Oh, I just thought I'd inject a little humor in a tense moment, sir. And over there, you see? What? Figs, dates, cinepods, cascara! They couldn't have been regular troops, sir. Let me see, they got indigestion tablets, glucose tablets, salt tablets, the pill, and... The pill? 
What do you suppose they use that for? I can't conceive. And you see over here? Sir. Gum Arabic. Gum Arabic. We need gum Arabic. Sure, we need it like we need a hole in the head. That's the luck we're running in. We can't find anything. Hold it. Gum Arabic. Gum Arabic. Sir, it might just work. Come now. Now. Come on, come on, come on. Push it, push it, push it. So you see, dearest Beau, you didn't trick Humphrey at all. He deliberately told a lie in order to dishonor you. And so you, dear, sweet, wonderful Jane, traveled all this way alone to tell me? <laughs> oh, it was nothing. Everybody was terribly kind. In fact, they couldn't do enough. Oh, how sweet. Do you realize what this means, Simpson? My name is clear and we can return to England. <laughs> yes, sir. If we ever get out of this lot. <laughs> no, no, sir. We will move into position now! I'll be in it. Hold it, throw it! Ooh. Just 
Yes, I go time, sir. <laughs> Thank you, sir. <laughs> I'll make you feel better. to see you, Sergeant. Can you stay a while? Well, I just didn't come here for tea and crumpets, old boy. Wonderful. I'll get Simpson to collect your things. Hold it. Never mind that. I got my own Batman. You! Look alive. I'm the double left right, left right. Right up! Your Batman? Well, you must admit it's a bit better than Robin. Oh, uh, excuse me, sir. You're in. Oh. oh, thank you very much indeed, Simpson. Well, I'll see you in just a few moments, Commandant. Have a talk with my wife. Give him a good go, Bo. Well, Lady Jane, I must say you're looking lovelier than ever. Thank you. And I see you've been kept rather busy. Oh, yes. <laughs> Look, isn't he adorable? The image of his father. <laughs> How is that? Not out. <laughs> <laughs> 